गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन द लॉजिकल इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड ऑल्सो द एग्जाम्पल प्रोग्राम फॉर कन्वर्टिंग द पैक्ड डेटा टू अनपैक्ड एंड अनपैक्ड डेटा टू पैक्ड दैट वॉज वन एग्जाम्पल विच वी हैव सीन एंड देन अगेन वी कन्वर्टेड दैट पैक्ड डेटा टू अनपैक्ड so in today's class uh, we'll uh, study the data transfer instructions so the data transfer instructions are nothing but just to transfer a data from one memory location to other so this move is the instruction uh, that is 8 bit data transfer for internal ram and sfrs so uh, this all are the different examples we, where we can use here uh, first example you have is move a comma rn already you are very familiar with this move instruction because we have seen uh, in all the addressing modes we have seen uh, uh, using this move itself using this data transfer instructions itself we have seen examples for all the addressing modes and in many programs we have uh, um, followed this uh, data transfer instructions so first instruction is move a comma rn so in in place of rn i can take r not or r1 to r7 whatever it is so if i write this instruction uh, move is a instruction and a is a accumulator which is at destination and r not is at source so whatever the content which is present inside this r not will move to a if i have 0 to inside this hexa then that 0 to h will move into accumulator after execution of this line before execution a might have some other value okay so uh, but when r not is having r2 and after execution of this instruction then a will be having this 0 to value because we are trying to move the content of r2 into a accumulator now same way here i have another instruction move a comma direct a comma direct means this is a direct address we can take so generally for direct address we'll uh, take a scratch pad okay the general purpose uh, registers uh, where it starts from uh, 30h location so from then we can uh, if you wanted to move some port value or whatever it is you can take so now 90h is nothing but a port 1 value so whatever is there in port 1 you are moving into accumulator so here they have written direct so instead of, so instead of writing port 1 they have written 90h you can also take 30h 40h whatever you wanted but i am saying it is 90h means that means that is uh, port 1 so in this instruction this uh, 90 this direct address 90h uh, 90h is at uh, so, uh, source then a is at destination so whatever the content which is present in this 90h will move to accumulator okay in this way next uh, next you have is move a comma at the rate ri so this is register indirect addressing mode so here ri means here i can take either r not or r1 only this both can be used for register indirect mode i can't use r2 r3 r4 r5 or uh, r6 or r7 okay i can't use all these registers i can use only these two registers r0 and r1 so that is represented with ri if it is represented with rn here in the place of n you can take 0 to 7 okay if it is represented as i i can be 0 and 1 that's it not uh, it can't exceed more than that so yeah in this uh, instruction uh, move a at the rate r i means uh, if i uh, let me write this instruction as uh, uh, i'll write this instruction as move a comma r sorry not this at the rate i need to mention yeah at the rate r1 if i take this uh, what it means is first r1 if r1 is having 30h then 30h is having 08h okay that means 
now uh, before execution whatever the uh, value was in a that doesn't matter for us but after the execution of this line i mean this line this uh, this uh, 0 8 will move into a after the execution of this line because here uh, it is uh, registered indirect that means register is pointing towards 30h location okay this r1 is pointing towards 30h location and the content present in 30h location will move to accumulator is that fine so this is the meaning of this instruction next you have is move a comma data so immediate addressing mode directly you can write some data so 34 will be loaded into accumulator if you write 48 then 48h will be loaded into accumulator in that way now this is uh, see the, this instruction was R n was at source, a was at des, uh, destination. Here it's just reverse of that. You can also write it in this way. Yeah, so uh, you can also write it in this way. That means move R not comma a. So now a is at source r0 is at destination so whatever the content which is present in accumulator will move to r0 okay that is the meaning of this now here he can also take move rn comma direct that means the same thing here see i can write move r1 comma uh, here the, he has taken 90h right so same 90h will take so here he has taken 0h whatever it is some address okay so if I take whatever the content present in this 90H will move to R1 register. Okay. In if you take this as an example, then whatever the content which is present in 0EH will move to R0. Here I have taken R1 and 90. Here they have given R0 and E0. Next, uh, I have is a move R uh, nothing but he has taken same immediate addressing mode. Here he used accumulator. Here he used register R0 to R7. So, if I take some R7 and if I write ash in front of this 90, then this in R7, R7 will be equal to 90H if there is a ash front of this 90. I am trying to say is if I write it in this way. Move R1 comma I took R7, right? R7 hash 90H means in this case R7 will be equal to 90H. Okay. In before case, in before case when this was not mentioned then the value present in 90h moved into r7 but when i have this uh, ash symbol front of that immediate addressing mode directly 90 itself will move into r7 so that is the difference between direct and uh, this direct uh, direct data okay so here he has taken an example for r1 uh, 35 he is trying to move into r1 Okay, is that fine? Same as this. Before he tried to move this data into accumulator here into R1. And one more important thing is you can never move Rn comma Rn. Okay, that means you can never move uh, data from one register to another register. That is from R0. If I, I can't write R0 and R1 or R21, R3 in that way. So I can never move from register R0 to R7 in the same line I can never do that so if I want to move from R0 to R1 instead of writing uh, this instead of writing this instruction uh, this instruction because this is this instruction is wrong we can't write it in this way but my agenda is I should whatever the content which is present in R1 I should move into R0 that is my uh, theme so uh, what will I do is first I'll write move move a comma r1 okay if i write this uh, whatever value was there in a okay whatever value was there inside uh, r1 will move into a here first okay after that again i'll write move r0 comma a that means from a i'll try to move into r0 so by writing these two steps i can uh, move this value but i can't directly write this i can never transfer from one register to another register so these are few examples and then uh, you have is uh, 
these are the list of registers and its addresses we have already seen it many times okay accumulator at e0 b is at f0 psw is at d0 okay next uh, stack pointer at 81 dptr divided into two low and high low is at 82 and 83 port 0 80 90 a0 b0 okay t mod 89 so timers all these yeah uh, here uh, so even in this uh, i mean different uh, modes uh, he has given here so, uh, let's uh, see this example as well see move direct comma a means here i can write move 90 comma a that means whatever the content which is present in in this a will move inside 90 if i have 0 3 h in this then 90 will become 3 h that means 90 h at 90 h location the value the content present in that address will be 0 3 h after execution of this line okay in this way it executes next i have move direct comma some register so instead move 9 h comma r not so whatever in before from accumulator it uh, moved into 90 now from r not it will move into 90 okay now in the next case uh, in the next case same i am taking direct and some sorry no, not this this one direct and at the rate r r i means uh, here comma at the rate r not i'll take that means first wherever r not is uh, pointing let's take 40 h then what is present inside 40 consider 0 8 h all these are my assumptions okay you can take any value you can take and you can explain them so in this case this 0 8 is a content which is present in at the rate r not what is the meaning of at the rate r not nothing but r not is pointing towards this 40 h location okay and in this 40 h location i have the content which is to be moved from that place to 90 h location so in 90 h location the value i'll have is 08 after the execution of this line okay is that fine in this way next uh, the fourth line here move direct comma data so directly move 90 h comma some data i'm giving 02 h so that time 90h location will have 02h inside this 90h location okay next uh, cc this is also using register indirect here uh, what he is trying to do is see this what we uh, here we did uh, from this uh, so and so uh, uh, indirect uh, register indirect addressing mode using this we tried to move the content of this at the rate r uh, not into some direct address here it's just reverse and instead of direct address he has taken accumulator so i'll write here move at the rate r not comma a consider a is equal to 0 2 okay and consider r not is having 440h and what is inside 40h we need to know uh, that doesn't matter for us okay what is there because before execution of this line it can have anything okay that doesn't matter to us but after execution of this line see this is destination and this is source so what is source having that we need to see it is having 0 2 so this accumulator is having 0 2 which will move into at the rate r not at the rate r not means it will move here 0 2 that means r not is pointing towards 40h and inside 40h the content has to be moved so uh, here you this 2 will move into this at the rate r not that is nothing but here now same way uh, in here he has taken a instead of a now he will take some 90 h here okay so in 90 h whatever it uh, it was it was there instead of a here i will take 90 h inside this you have 0 2 so from accumulator we tried to move now this time from 90 h location i am trying to move 2 into this so and so location okay this for this line I'm, i have written this example is that fine now in the next case see this t mod so t mod is of 8 bit okay so it is same like accumulator if you, if you consider accumulator right? even accumulator is of 8 bit right even t mod is of 8 bit okay this 4 bits for uh, you have two timers timer 0 and timer 1 right to start and stop you have gate c by t bar 
ओके सी बाई टी बार देन मोड वन मोड टू सेम वे गेट सी बाई टी बार एंड मोड वन मोड टू इन दिस वे यू हैव फॉर ही टेकन थर्टी नाइन थर्टी नाइन मीन्स जस्ट राइट द बाइनरी वैल्यू फॉर दिस जीरो जीरो वन वन एंड नाइन मीन्स वन जीरो जीरो वन सो हियर दिस वैल्यू विल बी लोडेड इन दिस वन जीरो जीरो वन हियर वन वन जीरो जीरो इन साइड दिस दिस वैल्यूज विल बी लोडेड That means what does it mean? See, gate is zero. So whether it should be operated, the timer should be operated with software or hardware. First, we'll decide all this. The user will decide all this. Okay. After deciding, he'll just uh, make that value, uh, send that value into this T mode. So by this, see here mode. Which mode he has selected here? Two ones means that means here uh, the mode three is selected. Okay. Here uh, zero one means mode one is selected in this case. Okay, in this case, gate is equal to high. In this case, C by T bar is equal to zero. So this acts like a the timer, and this also acts like a timer because this is equal to zero. If I want to act uh, this as a time uh, counter, then I should make this is equal to one. Okay, here I should make it as one. Is that fine? So in that way, whatever I wanted to load into T mod, if I want that uh, timer to be uh, from those both timers. If I want two timers to be at uh, to should start, then I can on two timers by using this gate. And whether the timer should act like a counter or uh, timer, also I can decide by sending the values in this bits. Okay. So by uh, this also comes under data transfer instructions. Yeah. Those all way for for eight bit. Now this move instruction can also be used for single bit. Okay, that means we can only move single bit. But for that we can use only carry flag in PSW register. See one bit data transfer involving the carry flag. For this, these are the instructions. Move carry comma p zero point zero. So you should take one bit. Always I said the size should be yeah in previous see whatever uh, examples you have taken in all this here and then even here. Always remember, if you are taking a source and des uh, destination, your source and destination, you are writing move, move uh, near destination, some register or some memory, whatever, and source. So always this both should match. If those both doesn't match, then that is an illegal. Okay, you will get an error uh, with uh, if that uh, if this will mismatch, then you can't move any value. From one location to other location. Okay, that is very important point. Now, same way, if I use it for uh, single bit, definitely move C. C is carry is single bit. I generally for carry I write it as C. This is single bit. So I should have the other. Uh, I mean, when destination is single bit, source also should be of single bit. So I can't directly write port zero because port zero is of eight bit size, whereas C is of only single bit. So port zero point zero or port one point one or accumulator point one. Okay, so that so and so bit can be moved using this bit. See this bit can be anything. It can be any one single bit. Okay, which are uh, uh, bit addressable like accumulator. Okay, uh, then T con, S con in that way. Whatever register you can take even port zero of bit addressable. Next, you have a see this um, for, even for 16 bit. We have seen move instruction for you for all the examples where for 8 bit. Now single bit also we have seen. Now 16 bit. 16 bit means it is just pointing towards this 16 bit data. You can write move D P T R is of 16 bit size. Okay, and I'll write uh, T 0 0 four. So this is 16 bit data. Okay, 0 0 four H. So when I write this. What happens is in DPTR, DPTR is 16-bit register, so that will loaded with uh, that will be loaded with 2004. If you divide this into two, that means DPL and DPH. So see, these are the lower. So DPL will be loaded with zero, and these are the higher. So uh, DPH will be loaded with two zero. So overall, DPTR will be having 2004H. Okay. So in this way, 16-bit transfer function also we can use for this data transfer. And this data transfer operations. Mm, this is the same thing, but uh, move C. Here we are using C move C. C means load. Okay, so load the accumulator with the byte from a program memory 
uh, program memory okay wherever you write all the codes program must uh, and always while doing this will always use indexed addressing mode only okay we can use dictionary and see okay. so uh, you should uh, all, uh, this in, in indirect ad uh, indexed addressing mode only we can use this where we already seen few examples on this we have uh, written usa in some previous videos we tried to write this ascii characters usa okay so you should uh, uh, we are just pointing this dptr towards the first location where u is stored from there i am trying to load this ascii value in the accumulator then move to some register and then i am incrementing dptr then s will be loaded then same way in that case in such cases we use okay so that then we use these uh, ascii values at some location and then what your program so from there you can use this next uh yeah see for this you have an example same example okay but here only difference is see assume that the ascii a uh, character string is stored in on chip st starting address at 200 in that also they have taken starting address 200 so on the, this rom chip uh, we have um, this rom memory we have uh, some ascii characters which are stored so from there he is asking us to uh, bring the characters into cpu here extra thing from before program from that usa program and this program what are the difference is after getting that in getting that and storing in register was uh, question for this one now for this present program the question is you need to get this from the rom location and send it to port 1 okay you should also send it to port 1 so each time whenever one character is uh, brought Then that that will be shown on port one. The second character is brought. Then again that will replace this port one. I mean that character will be shown on port one. Okay. In this way, it keeps on uh, happens. I mean how many characters are there? That many times it will show on port one. Those many characters. See, see. here, see um, starts at zero zero location. My program starts. But here, see move DPT at two hundred. Two hundred. Why am I taking this? Here two hundred location. He asks us to. Store the characters, ASCII characters. Okay, and ASCII characters. If we didn't mention, you can take anything. Here he has taken. Okay, rather instead of each letter something, you can you can take small a few letters. Plus and minus. Because if he mention these thing, I mean this characters only, then you need to take. If he didn't mention, just take it your own characters, few characters. Yeah. So for this, see first at two hundred. I'm starting. So first, uh, see what the origin. So at this at two hundred location, I'm I'm writing this data byte. Okay, in this double quotation, I'm writing all the characters whatever I wanted. And after that, see here also I'm ending it with zero. That means if it uh, find out zero, I mean whenever it will see the zero, that means it is end of a string. There is no other ASCII value till there itself it ends. Okay, so. I I need to end this string with this zero here. Yeah. Next end. So here on RAM you have this program. Okay. These values you need to bring from RAM, and you should send that to port one. That is a program. So now first point uh, move DPTR comma uh, zero two zero zero H. So generally this is of sixteen bit data. So you generally you write in this way zero two zero zero H. In that way you need to write. After that clear A. Just forget this. We will see later. Yeah. Well, next clear it. That means your accumulator you are clearing. After clearing accumulator, move C. You should write C. Okay, code. You are you are getting this code from ROM. So move C. A comma at the rate A plus DPTR. So A is zero here. Clear A. You already made it zero plus DPTR is having two hundred. That means zero plus two hundred. You have two hundred. And at the rate is what is present inside the two hundred. So inside two hundred, the first character is X. Is that fine here? The first one. So that X will move into accumulator here. That X will move into accumulator. Yeah. Uh, so after moving into this accumulator, next what it does is, see it will uh, jump if zero, jump 
ಮತ್ತೆ ದಿನ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಜೆ ಎನ್ ಝೆಡ್ ದೇರೋ ಜೆಮ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಜೆ ಝೆಡ್ ಜೆ ಝೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಜೆಮ್ ಪಿಕ್ ಝೀರೋ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಜನರಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿ ಜೆ ಎನ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸಮ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿ ಜೆಮ್ ಪಿಕ್ ಝೀರೋ ಜೆಮ್ ಪಿಕ್ ನೋ ಝೀರೋ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಈಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮಿಲೇಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೈ ಡಿಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಜೆಮ್ ಪಿಕ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಜೆಮ್ ಪಿಕ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇನ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೋಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಆರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಎ ದೆನ್ ಮೂವ್ ಸಿ ಎ ಕಮ ಆಟ್ ದ ರೇಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆಟ್ ದ ರೇಟ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಎ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಟಿಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಲೇಬಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಮನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಸ್ ಕಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಮನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಜಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರಿಮೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಶುಡ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬೈ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಏಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ಲೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಜಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ ಐ ಇನ್ಕ್ರಿಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಸೊ ಇಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಐ ಐ ಡಿನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಸಾರಿ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಜಂಪ್ ಇಫ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಅಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅಕ್ಯುಮುಲೇಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್
So next again that we will move into fourth one, P one. Again increment DPTL. So this keeps on, this loop uh, goes on happening until it reaches this G, uh, E and G G, right? When it completes this G, again it will uh, show A is equal to G. That means it is not equal to zero. When that is not equal to zero, jump if zero, this it will not jump to exit. Instead, it will move that G to P one from this here, A to P one. In A, I have G as key value that will move to fourth one. After that, it will increment DPTL. So now it is incremented. It is uh, zero. It is incremented to this uh, address, whatever it was. So now, now here, from there, that zero will be loaded into accumulator. After that, now it will check here. Now it will check here whether it has zero or not. Jump if zero. Yes. Now this time, when it reached this point, accumulator is equal to zero. When that is equal to zero, it will directly jump to exit. It will skip this three steps. In the last one, whenever accumulator is having zero, it will skip all this uh, three steps because in port one, no need of showing zero. Okay, because my string was only till here. So that means um, there is no string after this engine engineering E G G. So it will skip this point and directly jump here, exit, and end. My program will end here. Okay, is that fine? So in this way, I can. Write the program. This program is exactly uh, exactly like uh, the ASCII characters USA, whatever we have seen in the previous videos. But the only difference is from there, from that accumulator, we try to store it in some register. But this time I am trying to store it in P1 uh, port one. I am trying to show it on port one. Okay, near port one, if you connect some LED screen. Okay, near port some other external devices, you can uh, connect right input output devices as well. So LED screen output device. If you connect, you can also see these characters on those LED screen. So this is uh, this uh, problem you have seen. Next after this, you have is yeah. Next that was for move C. We have seen one example for in index addressing mode. Now this is move X. So move X. Is nothing but for external data memory. Move C and uh, move C is for code. See this. This was for code. Okay, program memory. So this is for by uh, data memory. X, X means external. Okay. So data transfer between the accumulator and a byte. And always this move X. Always whenever we transfer, we'll try to transfer using accumulator only. Always accumulator is used in this. Okay. So, because from external, whenever we are using C, these are the um, examples what we use: move x a comma at the rate r one. Next, move x a comma at the rate dptr. Next, move x at the rate r i comma a at the rate dptr comma a. So, vice versa. We are trying to move from here to here, then here to here, then from a to dptr, from uh, sorry dptr to a, then a to dptr. In this way, you can use all these. So uh, yeah, we have already seen uh, these things. This you have already seen. Okay. So here, the, uh, let's see this DPTR. For example, DPTR is uh, pointing towards four thousand location. Okay. So what in this instruction? Second instruction. Just see with this. What happens here is in four thousand location, whatever data if you have zero two H in four inside four thousand location, after the execution of this instruction, accumulator will be equal to zero two H. See this way. Because DPTR was pointing towards 4000, and 4000 is having a content 02H, so this should move into accumulator according to this line. Because it is at the rate DPTR is moved to A, so that is that is what happens here. Next, you have data transfer functions. Even push and pop instructions. Even this we have seen. Okay. So even these are used to transfer the instructions, right? Uh, push is to store the values on stack. Push the values onto stack. Okay, stack memory. Whereas pop is to retrieve the values from stack. Okay, from stack it will remove the store somewhere else, wherever uh, we want it. So uh, push and pop um, a data byte onto a stack. It will push those uh, the bits to stack. Next, the data byte is identified by the direct address. From the internal RAM locations. So 
so he is trying to say for push and pop we should always use some die if you wanted to push a accumulator you should use 0 e 0 h only okay if you want to use uh, pop or push whatever it is you should always use 0 e 0 h if you want to use b then its address we need to always write it using its address is that fine Hmm. So, if you want to do uh, for this DPTL, I mean DPL or DPH, then you should write H2 or H3H. Its address we need to use. We can't use its name for this push and pop operations. So, this push and pop you already are well aware of that. We discussed in uh, two videos. We also have seen some examples, I guess. Um, so, uh, what is the uh, initialize, I mean where it is initialized starting whenever we write a push, the stack memory it uh, initialized at, the stack pointer is initialized at 0, uh, 7, 0, 7 location and whenever you write push operation, first it increments by 1, increments means this address wherever it is initialized, that will be incremented by 1, that means it will become 0, 8 and there it will store the value, it will increment and store the value, before it was pointing here right. So, it incremented by 1 and then stored at that location. Next, again if you write push, again it should increment by 1 first. Okay, if you increment by 1, that will become 0, 9 and then it will store the value. So, push means remember one thing, increment the address by 1 from where, wherever it is pointing at present. From there, it should increment by 1. Then, at wherever you incremented to that new address in that, the value, the content is stored. Okay, next if I talk about pop first uh, wherever the uh, stack pointer is in that location consider stack pointer is at uh, a okay 0 a h so at the presently it is at that location that means whatever is there at this 0 a location that will retrieve into reg uh, some register okay that means if you write pop um, 0 e 0 h okay that means here so from pop in this 0h location, whatever the value is there, if you have 0, 2, that will move into this E0h. That means E0h means generally A accumulator. It goes 0, 2. After that, it will decrement by 1, minus 1. So, now 0ah will become 09h. Okay. Now, again, if you write pop uh, B, so F0, 0F0h. So now, first it will retrieve whatever value is there in this. If consider it is having 3, this will retrieve first. That means B will be equal to 3 now. Because I have taken here POP second instruction for 0, F0. I can't write B here. I can't write name. I should write B's address. That is 0, F0. Okay. So, from here it will retrieve first the whatever the value is there. Then it will decrement by 1. Okay. So, here in POP, what I try to say is, First, it will retrieve the value, then address is decremented by 1. Then again in that present address, new address, whatever the value, it will retrieve that, again address is decremented by 1. Okay. In this way, this pop and push uh, instructions are being uh, operated. Yes, yeah, so uh, is this, uh, you have next exchange and uh, exchange D. So, here XCH means exchange. So, whenever you write this instruction, for example, first you have A comma R2 you take. Okay, I am taking R2 as an example. So, this will exchange the accumulator and a byte variable. So, uh, if from this uh, destination side you have this accumulator, right, and source you have R2. So, whatever the value content present in R2 will be exchanged to this accumulator this will move here and this will move here nothing but it is exchanging the contents of this register and accumulator same way in case of uh, instead of register if you take the direct instead of uh, 90 okay let me take this time uh, i'll take uh, 43h so, whatever the value which is present inside 43H, in, if for example, if here you have 0, 2 and here you have 0, 8, after execution of, uh, before, before execution, these were the values. After execution of this line, accumulator will become 0, 2 and 43H will become 0, 8H. 
so it is just exchanging its very its values its bytes okay now next uh, in this case let's consider uh, at the rate r not if you take at the rate r not first see where r not is pointing towards inside r not you have 30h and inside 30h if you have 03h okay and inside a you have 08 okay this was before executing the this line after execution this a will be equal to 03h and this will become 08h okay this is after execution this both after e a e a e this was before execution these values okay before execution a had 08 and this at the rate r not had 03 inside that whereas after execution a became 03 and uh, this at the rate r not became 08 that means it just exchanged the values so in this way this exchange uh, uh, instruction works next you have is exchange t see uh, in this exchange d uh, here it will exchange the lower uh, label of an uh, this accumulator with the lower label of that uh, whatever another memory location they have given so in this case uh, same uh, same thing if we take we will first take accumulator is equal to Uh, accumulator will write it as 0 0 1 1 and uh, we will make it 1 1 1 1 that means 3 f accumulator is equal to 3 f ok this is not clear here I am writing this is accumulator accumulator is equal to 3 f and here they have given here I will write an instruction move accumulator comma at the rate r naught and let us consider r naught is equal to 30 h and inside 30 h you have the value is um, let us take you have 0 2 h ok so you should write this 30 h register in this 30 h register if you have 0 2 h means c 0 2 that means 0 0 0 0 this is 2 0 0 1 0 these are the values these are the actual values it is having and the instruction what is need to be extended not move sorry here I have written wrong this is not move the instruction what I should write is x c h d exchange d ok so this instruction will only change the lower nibble it will only exchange the lower nibble so which is the lower nibble here this is the lower nibble and here this is the lower nibble this 0 is the higher nibble and this 3 is the higher nibble so in this case this lower nibble will go here and this uh, lower nibble will go here only lower nibbles will exchange higher nibble will not be exchanged that will uh, be uh, unexchanged ok that will not even change so after execute uh, after execution of uh, these uh, this line after execution of this xchd a comma at the rate r naught what it does is here you have 0 0 1 0 and here you have 4 ones so this will just be this will just become 0 0 1 0 okay and this will become 4 ones okay so now if you write the value this will become uh, this value is 3 as it is higher nibble didn't change whereas lower nibble before it was f but now it became 2 3 2 h after execution and now what uh, what will this value become at the rate r naught that means in at the rate you have 30 inside 30 you have 0 2 before execution but after execution the value what you will have is see this is 0 0 so 0 is unchanged higher bits lower bits are f ok is that fine so are you understanding uh, so before I will write here values very clearly only this first uh, remember this only this lower bits got exchanged lower nibble lower 4 bits got exchanged higher nibbles will change this will not get exchanged only this both will get exchanged so so I will write the values here clearly 
so uh, before execution after execution so before execution a was 3f okay and this at the rate r not i'll write here at the rate r not was equal to 0 2h okay now after execution after execution a became 3 2h and at the rate r not became uh, you got 0 fh okay so you can easily see from here see this was before execution 3f and 0 2 this values so this f only f and 2 got exchanged here so f became f came here and 2 went here is that fine only lower nibble were exchanged so here it is uh, written clearly see here they have mentioned uh, exchange the lower digit of an accumulator with the lower digit of the memory location specified here they have given the lower four bits of an accumulator are exchanged with the lower four bits of an internal memory location identified indirectly by the index register index register the upper four bits of each are not modified he explained this okay so whatever we discussed it was that so in today's class uh, we have uh, discussed all the data transfer instructions uh, with a few examples okay so in the next class uh, we'll cover this boolean instructions okay if possible uh, with this boolean we'll also try to cover the uh, different branch uh, branching instructions so by this we'll end this session thank you